Hello guys and welcome to TechWolf. In this video we are going to discuss 12 virtualization types. And with each virtualization type I will give you an explanation what this virtualization type means. And I will also give you an example how can that virtualization be used in the real world scenario. So let's start with first one. And first is hardware virtualization. Hardware virtualization involves creating virtual machines or VMs that simulate physical hardware. It allows multiple operating systems and applications to run independently on the same physical server by abstracting the underlying hardware. This is achieved using hypervisor that manages the virtualization process, isolating and allocating hardware resources like CPU, memory and storage to each virtual machine. For example, VMware ESXi allows an IT administrator to deploy multiple virtual machines on a single server. For instance, one virtual machine could run Windows Server for enterprise applications, while another runs Linux for development purposes, all isolated and sharing the same physical hardware. Second virtualization type is server virtualization. And server virtualization partitions a physical server into multiple virtual servers, each functioning as a separate physical server. This improves resource utilization, scalability, and reduces hardware costs as each virtual server can run its own operating system and applications. For example, Microsoft's Hyper-V can host multiple virtual servers on a machine. For example, a business could create virtual servers for email, web hosting and database services all running on the same physical hardware but is isolated from each other. Next virtualization type is desktop virtualization. Desktop virtualization separates the user desktop environment from the physical machine, hosting it on a remote server or virtual environment. And this allows users to access their desktop and applications from any device with network connectivity. For example, Citrix virtual apps and desktops provides a virtualized desktops that employees can use and access from their laptops or tablets. For example, a developer can log in into their virtual desktop from home and access the same software environment they use at the office. And next is application virtualization. And application virtualization enables an application to run on a device without being installed on it. This is achieved by isolating the application from the underlying operating system and delivering it as a virtual package. For example, VMware SynApp can package an application like Microsoft Office into a standalone executable. Users can run Office on any compatible machine without installation, avoiding dependency issues with the operating system or other applications. Network Virtualization Network virtualization abstracts physical network resources into a single virtual network. This enables flexible management of network components such as switches, routers and firewalls, often improving performance and scalability. And here example could be VMware NSX virtualized network components to create a software defined data center or SDDC. For instance, administrators can dynamically assign bandwidths and configure virtual firewalls without touching the physical hardware. Storage virtualization. A storage virtualization abstracts and consolidates multiple physical storage devices into a single logical storage pool. This simplifies management and enhances scalability by allowing applications to access storage without concern for the physical location. And here an example is NetApp on Tap, which virtualizes storage systems by combining Sun and the NAS devices into a unified storage resource. This allows businesses to scale storage on demand while optimizing usage and performance. Data virtualization. Data virtualization aggregates data from multiple disparate sources into a unified view, making it accessible in real time without physically consolidating it. This is useful for analytics and integration across multiple databases. And here an example is Denodo. 
that connects various data resources like SQL databases, APIs and file systems, creating a single virtualized layer. For instance, an analyst can query sales data stored in different databases without moving the data into a central warehouse. And mobile virtualization, which is eighth virtualization type in our scenario and mobile virtualization separates the mobile device hardware from the software enabling multiple isolated environments on the same device this is especially useful for creating separate work and personal environments and here an example could be vmware horizon mobile it allows IT administrators to create a secure, isolated work environment on an employee's smartphone. Employees can switch between personal and work profiles without risking data leakage between them. Next virtualization type is operating system virtualization. And operating system virtualization involves running multiple isolated instances of an operating system on a single host. Unlike traditional virtual machines, it uses the host kernel to create lightweight centralized environments. An example could be here Docker. Docker allows developers to create and deploy containers, each running isolated applications. For example, a containerized web app can run alongside other containers without interfering, all using the host system's Linux kernel. GPU virtualization. A GPU virtualization shares a physical GPU across multiple virtual machines or applications. This enables a high performance graphics and computational workload to be performed in a virtualized environment. And here the example could be NVIDIA vGPU technology that allows multiple virtual machines to access a single GPU for tasks like 3D rendering or AI model training. For instance, a virtual desktop environment can provide GPU acceleration for engineering or design applications. And the 11th type of virtualization is database virtualization. A database virtualization creates a unified interface to access and manage data stored in multiple physical databases. It abstracts the backend infrastructure to make data appear as a single cohesive source. And example. Oracle Database Virtualization integrates data across multiple database servers into a one logical database. For instance, a company with distributed databases can run a single query to retrieve and analyze data seamlessly. And the last is I.O. Virtualization. I.O. Virtualization or Input-Output Virtualization abstracts physical input-output devices, e.g. network cards, storage control controllers to share them across multiple virtual machines or systems. And this optimizes hardware utilization and simplifies management. And here the example is Intel VT-D technology that virtualizes I.O. devices like Nix network interface cards, allowing each virtual machine to directly communicate with a virtual NIC. For instance, a data center can run multiple virtual machines using the same physical I.O. resources while maintaining performance isolation. Thank you.